Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire. So last time, we didn't do a whole ton, and we were going to war with Kutai, which actually, this is not exactly where we left off yesterday. The reason for that, my friends, is because I had a comment yesterday saying, we should go to war and annex Cuba. I'm thinking, sure, why not? Let's go to war with Cuba. So right now, uh, I have just been caught. You look at my infamy. We're right at the max, right at the max at 25, 24.98 uh, infamy. If I go like 0.2 higher, 0 0.02 higher, then people, then all the great powers get like a Cassus Belli against me to contain me, which I don't want that to happen. So we're at the max, but we still have our war justification for Cuba, so I can annex them. They are in the US sphere, which is kind of eh, in my mind, but. Just because someone commented, I'm going to do it. So, a few other things before we get started. I guess there's the Yucatan Peninsula by itself. Um, Japan formed. I don't know why. It's 1868, but Japan is formed. And, yeah, they're they're alive. And they have Southern Sakhalin Island, which I really do not like a lot. And, like I said last time, we do want to go to war with China in this episode. Hopefully we can. I still need to make more armies, which would be cool. Are we making another army yet? Um... Let's see, you guys are doing okay. Did anyone need bigger armies here? There was another one right there. Oh, there you go. And good, good. Let's see, before we do anything else, uh, another comment, of course, from yesterday was, you should form Romania. Well, I can't, because they're already formed. When I reloaded the game, Romania's here now, which is kind of interesting. Um, they're under, of course, they're a satellite of the Ottoman Empire, unfortunately, so I guess by the end of the ca this campaign, I do want Romania under us. I want them under me and for them to get Transylvania back from the Austrians or the Hungarians or whoever owns that land. But right now, I'm trying to double check. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's just for the naval stuff. We want a bigger navy, of course. I do want a another couple of armies here before we go to China. Just because China is China, and China can be a little difficult to take out, especially if you're not super advanced. Like us. Uh, get a, that guy. Two, three. Uh, grab. Uh, let's, we want to use more than just Russians for our army. And then four guys. One, two, three, four. There you go. Looks pretty nice. And we're almost done with railroads, which would be great. I just finished off the war against Kutai there in our sphere, which is awesome. And now we can make the Trans Siberian Railway. A railway linking St. Petersburg with Vladivostok will allow us to advance the colonization of the Russian Far East and ensure our control over the riches of Siberia. Railroad costs a little bit of money. That's okay. That's fine with me. It's 1868. We're looking pretty good for railroads. We could probably get some some of this stuff, but we could probably wait. We can get this in two years for analytic philosophy. I really should probably get uh, steel steamers if I can. I really should get better ships. Um, but for right now, because we're going to go to war soon, I want to make sure that our military is best as possible. I'm going to go with army decision making, just just against China, you know, just in case. It's always going to be a little okay with their military when you go to war with other people. Persia, execute sailor. Um, Persia, what's going on, buddy? You're my ally, and you're in my sphere. Dispatch, yeah. That doesn't mean I have to go to war with you guys, but... I still need to make more ships. Oof. Cool. I gotta make more ships. I don't have a lot of money for them. Um, just make a couple of these. We'll destroy them later on anyways. So whatever. Oh, and we do want to go to war with China to get one of those cities. One of them pretty cities. <laughs> pretty cities. Wow. Uh, what about my ships? Let's double check. North Brazil. Oh, you're already moving here so that you can get there. That'd be good. Give us some time to lower our infamy as well. That'd be good. And I do have a cup of good Russian coffee here. And we have rubbles. And we go to war with Cuba. Great. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. You guys are looking really not, actually not that great, but whatever. Kill the rebels. Kill the rebel factions. Red Bull members, Jacobins, no, 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 we don't believe in Jacobins here. But we are allied with France, which is kind of nice. Good. Good. And soon we will get an event from Finland talking about them because, well, history is history. 
Oh, look, Kiva. Sure, for now. We'll do that for now before I want to take you completely out. Yeah. I really want to core this stuff as fast, as fast as possible. Uh, what is our national focus is like? You guys are doing intellectuals up here, which includes... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Bronsk. Tartaria. Oh, there's some North Germans here. That's pretty good. 3.4% is pretty good. Ooh, Kharkov. Cool. Intellectuals. Where else have we got these people? We got some... Ooh, yeah, we can expand some railways. That'd be awesome to do. Uh, we have you guys down here, which is good. We have some guys here, which is good. Keep building yourselves up. This, we're still... We're approaching middle game now, so that's okay. Uh, Railway-wise... We're still trying to build ourselves up from the last expansion. Oh, you guys need some more stuff. That'd be nice. Very good, very good. This is... Uh, purple fins. Okay, whatever. Oh, we have a Hussar there. Nice, we must have just made him. Great. We're doing okay on money, which is awesome. And when do we go to war with the Cubans? I should have probably paid a little bit more attention to that. Where is it? Conquest, so by February. Let's let our infantry go down just a little bit. Let's let, get our ships to repair a little bit more, which were looking pretty bad earlier. Nice, and I'll use you guys to get into Cuba. Uh, actually, how much? Oh, they have two military scores. That's not bad. We've got to make sure we get in there and beat them up as fast as possible. Kutai. Oh, they're partially westernized already. That's pretty good. And let's make sure... Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. I'm probably going to land in Kamagui. Uh... No. Trans-Siberian Railway. The first stage of the railway linking Chelyabinsk and Novonikolaivsk has been completed with the construction of a bridge over the river. Ob. Sadly, the riverbanks near Tomsk were too swampy, so the bridge had to be constructed further south, and a new sediment of N has been constructed at the river crossing. From now on, this town will serve as a regional hub for transportation. Progress must continue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Almost a quarter of our population can read. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and go to war. Let's see what happens. Nah, they didn't really like that. That's okay. We're going to actually land here instead. They are in America's fear, which is not ideal, but you know what? If we can beat them up first, that'd be okay. And did they go on their boat? No, they just they were just hiding. Maybe they did go on their boat. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And we show up. And we immediately don't have a good dice roll. Or at least compared to them. Holy cow, that's a really good dice roll. Oh, what? Uh, come over here, please. Thank you. And beat him up. <coughs> so thank you to the person in the comments from yesterday's video telling me that Cuba is free from Spain. Because that's going to be a lot of fun. Great powers. Uh, just keep that... America, do you not like us, like us when we were attacking your puppet? Or your sphered nation? Wow, it's pretty weird when Prussia has a higher score than Italy. Then again, Italy did lose it again, as well against Austria. Oh, look. They're dead. Oh, look! Transcaucasia is here. I love Transcaucasia. Love them, love them, love them. Uh. So for now... We're going to wait and lower our infamy. Let's go and take out Havana. Havana. Russian Havana. Oh, wave of colonial unrest. The situation will pass. It looks like part of Canada is free too. That's cool. Uh, anything else going on? Is there any other wars besides ours? Oh, the Dutch are moving against Kalimantan near our colony of South Borneo or Southern Borneo. All right then. Hey, look. The United Baltic Duchy is here. I love the United Baltic Duchy. What a great bunch of people. Oh, there's Earthquake in Peru. Yeah. And there goes the Dutch. But, at least for us here, we get fish. Ooh, nice. Yeah, but we get precious metals, which is awesome. Love it. And let's move you down here to probably there first. We're sieging down Guantanamo Bay. That'll be our detention area, America. That is Russian detention areas. Uh, let's see, let's go over here. Do we have... Uh, you guys are being built up. Good. Going exactly where I want you to. Manchuria has rebels, which is whatever. 
Which they're probably going to fight us anyways, but whatever. Austria's looking pretty good. Prussia's looking pretty eh. They're still great power, which is okay. Alright, eh, Prussia's no longer in our speed or whatever. Mobilizing. Oh, they broke their alliance. No one cares. Cool. And let's go here and finish off Cuba. Ah, <sighs> some more conquest, right? Am I right? Gotta love it. <clears throat> ah, Persia, Persia, Persia. Bread riots? Um, that does not sound good. I don't think we're communists right to get bread riots. So, barricades have erected, uh, or have been erected on Main Street. And bakery shop windows have been smashed, following spontaneous outbursts of looting. <clears throat> Food shortages are becoming ever more widespread in the Russian Empire, and pent-up anger is spilling onto the streets. <clears throat> Many blame our government's protectionist policies for the failures in the food market, and some are even calling for the cabinet to resign. We have two options for handling this crisis. Either we reshuffle the cabinet and hope to placate the public opinion, or we bide our time and trust that our protectionist policies will be proven right in the long term. Uh, I'll... Give me those liberal support. I want more reforms. Reform, 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 reform. Oh, we could open our borders. Which would actually help us with t plus 10%. Oh, we get less inf oh, give me less infamy. Heck yeah. It's not that much, but that could be so good for us. Uh, we could go with free press as well, which would give us 25% more literacy impact on con. Ooh, and more political awareness. Ah, uh, should I liberalize that much? Ooh, but we get less infamy if we do this. Mm. I mean, it's still 1869. Mm. No one wants that. People will be pissed off anyways if we do this, so let's do it anyways. Ah, less infamy. Thank God. Well, eventually. Good. And Cuba. Thank you, my friend. Now we have one army for Haiti and Cuba. Ooh, that does not sound good. I'm probably going to have to leave this navy here then, just to make sure that these guys are okay. That's why I'm making another fleet. One navy. Oh. Hmm. Let's see what happens. We'll party it up with the uh, Cubans down there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Keep an eye on national focuses. Man, I wish I could reward my friends like that. That'd be great. You guys looking pretty good, pretty good. Get some forts over there, because we have a little bit of money. <gasps> oh no, look at that. We have a factory? No, no, open them, open them. We actually have two, we took out Cuba, which had factories. No, 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 uh, we're gonna pump you guys up. Oh my goodness, is this the way we're gonna industrialize? Oh my goodness, we actually have people here. No, no, put them in, put them in. We have four score, four score, because we took out Cuba. Four score, it's almost 1870. And if you look at the rest of the great powers, look at that. They all have in the hundreds score, except for us. Well, maybe for the Ottomans in Italy, but whatever. Actually, I can join the Tunis side to take these guys out, huh? Hmm. That's interesting. No, but they're going to get taken out anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Before we do anything else, roads. Uh, actually, this purple... Okay, so purple still means you can expand them. We have 4.3 million in the bank, actually, right now. Let's lower this for now. Keep keep that going as well. Uh, let time go on maybe a little bit more. We'll see what happens. Keep building up roads. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. We can actually have an industrial score, finally. It took us like five episodes to... Oh, Romania... Buddy, you're civilized. I like you guys. You guys are awesome. Yes. Romania, you, me, and not the no, not the Turks. Heck yeah. Good. Let's do that. Industry. Culture. Oh, we're so close to being able to do that. And that gets you a plus 100% more. Uh, industry. More diplomatic influence would actually be pretty good. Let's just... Ooh. I want something that does really quick. 5,900 research points isn't bad. This is 48... 83. Let's get some more... I never do this, but let's get some romanticism. Because even though we're actually pretty late in the in the middle of the romantic era. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. That's still okay. Russia is just a little backwaters now. Just a little, bit, a little backwaters. And... Oh, I'm going to be happy about this in just a moment here. If you know why. If you know why. Oh, well. Uh, it would help if I let time go on. Ooh, oh, cool. Oh, more growth. More growth. Population growth. Great. Uh, Af sure, Afghanistan, sure, why not? Yes, yes, and if you see, know what I'm happy, a literal quarter of our population can now read. 
Mmm, just makes me happy. Straight up makes me happy. Foul murder. Oh, I'm not going to read this because it's just a regular thing that happens. Blame. Demand the police produce a perpetrator. Let us not throw allegations widely about. Let's do that just because I don't want to falsely accuse anyone of anything. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, what do we have here? <gasps> Seek a buyer for Alaska. We have little use for our North American holdings. They are difficult to defend and which would be worth far more to another country than it is to us. Well, it may take some time to find an interested and appropriate buyer. Perhaps we should start the process. Why? No. Are you kidding me? I'm keeping Alaska. That's good stuff. <clears throat> oh, peasant reform. So, the institution of serfdom. Unfree farm labor tied to the land of a local noble, effectively a form of feudal slavery, had existed in various forms in Russia since the Kievan Rus of the 11th century. That's a long time ago. Throughout the ages, the institution had undergone, or un undergone several reforms and changes. <clears throat> but the first steps towards a complete ab abolishment Abolishment were taken only in the 1810s when the institution was abolished in the Russian domains of Kurlin, Estonia, and Livonia. The institution was only abolished in all of Russia with the Agrarian reforms of 1861 during the reign of Tsar Alexander II, who at the time feared that the Russian peasantry might otherwise seek their liberation through outright revolution. Nice. <clears throat> wow, we, we, we lose four infamy. Awesome. We get Pinage, and we get Comprehensive Miracle, and which helps us out for education efficiency plus 75%. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. Ooh, they're African farms and mines. Ooh. Russian Niger colony. Um, enact his reforms, Alexander's reforms. We need more militancy. And I just finished my coffee. <clears throat> cool. Industrial milita military industrial complex. Service by requirement. Cultural rights, basic school system. Oh my god, I want that. Yes, please, yes. I love being an absolute monarchy. That makes me feel so good. Alright, looking pretty awesome. Let's look at this. We have another 30 guys here. Great. Excuse me, can I... Thank you. Uh, let's come over here and build one more army before we go to war with China. China. One, two, three... Four, five, well, four, I guess, really. A Romanian Hussar. One, two, uh, three. Now, probably not melee, probably not. There we go, one more army, and let's go ahead and start justifying. They're uncivilized, we should do okay. And I want a punitive expedition. It only costs us five infamy, so we have just enough to do this. Awesome. And I'm probably going to take Shanghai. Actually, what's a popular... Eh, well, we'll see what happens when we can actually do it. Because I know you can take this area, because I know, like, this little town... Well, we immediately get bound. But, um, West Canton, Kuang Chowan, was actually taken by the French, historically. Obviously, Hong Kong was taken. Most of it would be very nice. I also want that. Qingdao looks really interesting, but I'm not German. Let's see. Well, I'm not in-game. Uh, Sister Press... Oh, we're gonna go with free press. Give me, just give me as much education efficiency as possible. Even though I know that's not great for some things, like putting down rebellions. Oh, oh, we can do some reforms. <clears throat> so, the disastrous results of the economy prompted the Tsar Alexander II to consider reforms. Alexander hoped that agricultural production could be modernized and made more efficient by eliminating the last remnants of serfdom. This would assist in the transformation of Russia from a backward agricultural economy into a modern industrial and capitalist economy. More urgently, Alexander agreed to uh, other liberalizations of Russian society. Among these were the creation of representative bodies called Zemsta, or Zemta, in effect a form of local government in villages and provinces, giving authority to dispense education, charitable relief, and other services. The reformer Tsar also ordered the reformation of the army and navy, the implementation of new legal processes, and an overall of the penal code. Oh my god, yes. It is 1870. Oh, we're trying to finish up romanticism quickly, but oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. 26%. Great. Great, great, great. Sokoto. Oh, you're not going to like what we're going to do to you later. Oh, that's so good. Labor spies. We can use some better information. Violate their personal integrity is doubtful. <laughs> Fully fun education. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Oh, this is a great episode. I'm loving this episode so far. It just feels awesome. 
And the UK is still killing minorities. Or, I guess, Indians. Hmm. Oh, the UK. You are a funny country. Prussia, how you doing? Uh, Austria, let's increase relations. Oh, the Ottomans are still trying to fight the Tunis Tunisians. Go to war by... Um, Ju May. May. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Build that up. Build, build, build. I'll get those projects going. Get oh, we can get an artillery fa Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. We can build artillery factories. Oh my god, we can create states in all these places. We can get so much more colonial points now. Darn my infamy, though. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I've been waiting for this for quite a while now. I'll create all those states. Create all those states. Yes. Thank God for reforms. Look at this. Can I create a state? Oh, I can't create a state in Alaska. That'd be awesome, though. Yakutsk. Because of this. Now. Oh my god, yes. We can do this. And maybe I can take out Kiva. I might just, might just break my alliance with him. Good. Finally. Finally, my friends. We can do this. Colonizing this area. I probably won't be able to colonize Africa. What do we need here? We need revolution, counter-revolution, and breech-loaded rifles, which we're behind. We might not get a lot of Africa, but we can always conquer more of it. Oh my goodness. Go to war by May? Great. They're still uncivilized. Japan is here. They're a secondary power already. Uh, let's keep good relations with them. Sounds like a good idea. And we still have to get that group up there. That's fine. We got some rebels. Uh, like who? Minimum wage. You don't deserve minimum wage. More Jacobins, probably. Militant socialists. North German patriots. Well, they probably won't get too far with us. Oh, Ottomans. I'm going to have to really kill off the Ottomans. I will shatter the Ottomans by the end of this campaign. That's my goal. Shatter them as well. How about build, 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 build. Yes, 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 yes. we got to catch up. Oh, thank God we got that done. Good. Keep building. It's all because we took out Cuba. I love it. Oh, I need, I need that so bad. I need this too. Oh, my goodness. But give me more research points for now. I'm going to say we should be able to... Eh, I want to wait a little bit longer to keep pushing down our infamy because we're at war. We get less infamy uh, lowering. So that will be good to wait. Cool. Missionaries executed in Madagascar. This cannot be permitted. War reparations, stuff like that. Oh, the first international in Hamburg. Oh, that would make sense. It happens in Germany. Of course. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, good. Artificial fertilizers. And there goes them. Social Democratic has been founded. Well, Social Democratic, I guess I don't understand that, Social Democratic. When you say Social Democratic or Social Democrat, I'm not thinking communists. But then again, I'm not Russia, and I don't know that much about Russian history. Uh-oh, good. Get more infamy, UK. Get more infamy. Oh, God, yes. Industrialize. This is why I kept my taxes low for capitalists. Invest in Russia. Which sounds kind of weird, to be honest with you. Invest in Russia, because Russia might invest in you, maybe? Maybe? Help out the fans, make them a little nicer to us. Persia. Romania. Soon enough, we will see Japan here. If I can, you know, keep good relations with the Japanese, that might be pretty good. Uh, everyone else, though. It's February. Americans, we like you guys as well. Hope you're having a good time, America. Oh, let's build up the Greeks, because they are a potential enemy against the Turks. Which would be great. And give them some roads in Persia, too. Awesome. Burma, oh yeah, they already took out Pegu. Well, whatever. Alright, let's look at our budget. We got to raise this up again. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, that's not good. Some, a good chunk of them are not getting any of their needs. Hmm. Oh, we're making enough money for... An oh! Nice.
Very good. Oh, it's a slave state. Interesting. Oh, actually, maybe I should have waited to do that. Now I have a big old border here with them. Huh. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Well, this is this might be a bad idea. But let's do it anyways. Call all allies. Will anyone join us? Um Bukhara will not. Kiva, Coquelin, Persia will not. France will. Oh hell yeah, let's get the French in here too. So France has joined. Persia has not. Coquelin, which is actually okay with me, so that we can uh, just go straight into the lands and next and just gobble, gobble, gobble. Right, so are we, are we just only fighting the Qing Chinese? Or... Okay, so yeah, we're fighting all these guys. <clears throat> Except Manchuria, which is quite ideal for us. Quite ideal. Well, I guess we're going to Mongolia. Let's get guys in there. Let's move, let's move. Everyone's moving in. Everyone... Vamanos, as they probably don't say in... Russia. I probably don't say Babinos. And I take up. No, maybe take out Tanu too, but nope. You said no, and I'm gonna remember that forever. Actually, you might want to take out Korea. How strong is Korea? They are uncivilized. Uh, no, Kiva. No. You said no to me. I say no to you. Get down there. Get down there. See what happens. Maybe you can beat him up. Oh god, this is gonna be ugly. You might be able to win, you might not. I don't know. Oh, we're beating up some Koreans. Seems like a historically appropriate thing to do, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of Koreans. Oh, that is a lot of Korean guys. What if we both moved in here? Oh, but they're... Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's mountains. That's definitely mountains. So we definitely don't want to do that. Gurkhas, Ascardis, and Trelors. Serve at home. Oh, yeah. We definitely want that. More prestige. It's not much, but it, it's a little something-something. A little something-something, you know. Mm. Nice. Very good. Get over there, perhaps. Cool. Uh, oh, they're sieging that area down. That's fine. You know, whatever. You guys. Maybe you can get over there. I wish I could have built this area up a little bit more. Persia. Well, partially westernized. I'm going to say, mm, uh, why not for now? Cool. Feeling pretty good about this so far. Uh, keep chasing him down. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Uh, maybe we can get, beat the, those people's. Nice. Are we doing well over there? We're doing well enough. That's good. I'm going to send you down here then. We should be doing well enough. Alright, yeah, they're they're dying. Good. Oh, they want Dynam. Holy crap. What is your infamy like? Good. You don't actually go down there. Take out Korea, maybe. The most important thing is we get their war score. As much war score as possible. Keep scaring them away. Come back up here, maybe. Great. If we can come right there, that'd be... Uh, take Peking. Do, but do not burn it down, please, for the love of God. Do not burn down Peking. We don't want to cause an international incident like that again. Oh, well. You guys are actually winning. Come down. So, I could take Korea. That'd be awesome. Alright. What's going on here? Oh, we found... We found, got the army up here. That's awesome. It'll take forever to do that. You guys come down there. And they're going to leave just before I can get there. That's fine. Get him again. Uh, what's the war score like? Can I... Oh, yeah. We can already negotiate an unequal treaty. Yeah, let's do that. To get out of the war as fast as possible. Because I might take Korea eventually. Negotiate an unequal treaty. So now, this is cool. Because we can get Shanghai. Get Shanghai from them. Uh, or Qingdao. Or Lusin treaty ports. Jia Zing. Hainan. Oh, we get Hainan. Maybe if we wanted to. Quan Chong Treaty Port, the Ningbo. That's actually really cool. Oh, the Taiwan can. What the hell is this? Capital Saint Petersburg is in the, is on the continent of Asia or have radio telegraphy. 
Negotiating fee will be removed from them. Gain Pegu. Whoa. Well, let's double check. So, Shanghai, Qingdao. Well, they have 25,000 people, which isn't very much down there. Oh, the French are here. They haven't done anything except blockade, which is fine, whatever. We can get this group, which is... It's okay, it's got some silk. We can get Shang Ningbo, which is right here, which has 300,000 people. We want those populations. We can get this state, it looks like, as well. Yeah, which is less than 100,000. You guys have less than 100,000. Uh, what else could we take? Lu Xun? Shun Gao's right there. Oh, but can we get that from something else? Yeah, it's Liao Ding Dong Province. Liao Dong Lease. Is this Liao Dong? No. Where's Liao Dong? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. L I. Nope. Uh, well, whatever. Hmm, what do we want? I, I really heard Shanghai is probably the best place to grab. Hmm. For the most is fun, though. Even though this has a lot of population. If we take this area, that gives us an easy way into here. But d taking this province... Would just automatically give us quicker areas into China proper. Oh, I'm going to beat the snot out of China from here on out, probably. Hainan would be pretty good. Oh, that's a lot of population. And that could actually serve as a little port to get down here. God dang it. Ugh. Just give me Shanghai. Because we, because we can. Grew importance in the 19th century due to the European recognition of, of its favorable port location and economic potential. This potential can be fully realized under Russian administration. Just take that. Ah. Now I'm feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty good earlier. But now I'm feeling really good about ourselves. Good, good, good. So these guys go home. They did a great job thus far. Awesome. Oh yeah, and more railroads. We are making Russia into a global power. On two continents. Most people can say only one continent. But really, a global power anywhere. Well, hopefully, eventually. Let's see, you guys get, those, get them get them roads, son. Nice. Oh, Burma's not having a good time. Awesome. Great. And... Oh, you guys are building roads. That's great. Kazan... Oh, no, no, no. You want that. Build, 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 my friends. Cordial, whatever. Uh, nope, nope. Shanghai. Oh, yeah. Uh, do we have people coming from... Gomel? Oh, yeah. Russify the place. Oh, we got some Russians here already. That's awesome. Oh, and Burma was annexed. And the world's at peace. Persia. Awesome. We have 11 factories. Or 11 industrial score. That's just... Mm, that makes me so happy seeing that. You guys actually just come down to Shanghai then. Just kind of hang out. Have a good time, you know. Get a couple Chinese beers. I don't know, something like that. And national focuses. What do we else have here? Good. Uh, Kharkov, how much have you built yourself up? 4% is pretty good. 4% is pretty good. 3.9%. Kursk. Kiver. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. You guys are almost done. You guys are almost done. Get some railways down there. Nope. Prussia, what are, what are you doing? Hanging out, having a good time, maybe? Yeah, build some railways right there. You guys are looking pretty good. Nice. Good stuff all around, my friends. Good stuff. I'm very pleased with how we're operating right now. Give us just a little bit more time to lower our infamy. And I definitely want that peace treaty to expire within five years ago against Qing China, which would be awesome. Alright, let's double check this. Build, my friends. Build. Colonize. You say colonize, I say yes. Ah, another slave state. Great. Well, you just got rid of serfdom, so I don't think slave states are really what we want. Now, can I go to war with these guys? 
Goblin. Oh, uh, Bucata. Remove him from our sphere. That's fine. Gold Rush. Oh, I love gold. Love it. And... The Great Game. What is that? Takes five infamy. Between Russia and the British Empire require that all uncivilized nations in Central Asia be turned into puppets to prevent the other from doing the same. I just wanted to eat you. Huh. Well, actually, does that give us a decision? If we make them puppets, can I just annex them later? Maybe we'll form Turkestan. That's quite interesting. I really don't have the infamy for it right now. So we're going to wait just a little bit longer for that. Oh yeah, let's get Greece in there. Bring us prosperity. I want to make at least one more army here. Before we do anything else. Do we have any other armies around here? Just to double check. Yeah, I definitely want at least one more army in Asia. Oh, yeah. That's, that's interesting. 50% oh, bureaucrats. That's nice. I'll keep making more armies. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four. And then we'll make it... Uh, Let's see, near east? Uzbuk? Uzbek. Uzbuk? Uzbek, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> eh, our guy should be pretty good at putting down rebels, so. Okay, I don't, I don't care about all these battles. Usually we win. I just want to invest. There's no leftist bias in the media. More social. Oh god, socialism. Um. Uh, Interesting, I am sure. Yeah, Serbia. Yeah. Just invest in those roads, man. Invest. Oh, oh yeah. N ammo. Yeah. Actually, before we do anything else, let's double check that. Do that. Let's lower this for now because we don't really need it. Save a little bit more money. Russia is open to business. For business. Montenegro. Uh. Oh, look at that. Treaty port. Nice. Farm and mining size of Shanghai Treaty Oh, yeah, buddy. So, we gotta keep an eye on when we can go back to war with the Qing Empire. We can go back to war with them in 1876. But, importantly, we also call to the French, and so they can't do the same thing against Qing China, which, I guess, kind of cucks them out of, uh, you know, doing the same thing that we just did to them. Now, I'm gonna definitely have to explore what this means by doing, um, Great Game, which sounds like fun. I don't want him really as a puppet. I might get him as a puppet. We'll see what happens eventually, though, of course. And let's finish this off by doing Persia, probably. Romania. Persia at a sphere. And we have the Trans-Siberian Railway. The Circum-Baikal Railway connecting Irkutsk and Chita has been completed, which allows us to stop relying so much on the expensive ice-breaking train ferries in Lake Baikal. Right. And, but that's where we're gonna, that's where we're going to leave today's episode, my friends. We've done really well. We started liberalizing. We have expanded our influence both in the Americas, technically the Caribbean, really. Oh, Japan's a great power. And we have beaten the snot out of China. And we took, of course, Cuba. Which I think we've done really, really well. We've started liberalizing. Almost a third of our entire population can read. Finally. And we actually have some sort of industrial score. Finally. But... I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we continue to make Russia the best country on Earth. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.